Man, was I ever wrong about photography? In this video, I'm gonna tell a little story about my interest in photography starting about 15 years ago. To me, only starting to get a clue now, 15 years later. I'm hoping that maybe this video can help you maybe save some time and start properly enjoying the hobby of photography a whole lot sooner. So it all started for me at a point in my life where I was working part-time as a teller at one of the big Canadian banks. Riveting job, right? Naturally, it was kind of the first time in my life where I started asking myself questions and was having kind of an existential early life crisis. Every day I'd be sitting there kind of staring blankly waiting for a customer to come in asking myself questions like, is this gonna be what I do forever? Or stuff like, why do we even have computers if we do all of these complicated types of transactions on paper anyways? And probably the one I asked myself the most in that job was, this kind of seems like something that a robot's gonna replace me in if I stay here forever. Jokes aside, working as a teller at a bank was not very fulfilling for me at all. But lucky for me, during that time, right next door to the bank was a camera store called Henry's, and that's where I spent all of my breaks and lunches at, just walking around the store, browsing for gear, kind of soaking it all in. It was very interesting. Eventually, I pulled the trigger, bought my first camera. It was an entry-level Canon Rebel. I think it was called the, the Rebel XS. So I got that camera with a kit lens, and away I went. After getting that camera, I started doing what I think a lot of new camera owners do. I started watching a ton of YouTube videos. At the time, it was mainly videos from a YouTube channel called Digital Rev TV, where a guy named Kai and Locke would make a ton of videos doing crazy challenges, camera re reviews, tutorials. It was really cool. I watched a lot of YouTube videos on photography. I became obsessed about watching videos about how to use different camera gear. Not, not even just my gear, but camera gear in general. I was obsessed with reviews, tutorials, things like that. And shortly after buying my first Canon Rebel, I ended up buying another camera, a Canon 60D with a 50 millimeter prime lens and with some filters. Oh, and I bought a 70 to 200 millimeter zoom lens and a pretty cool low pro bag that I still have today. Oh, and I bought a hot shoe flash and a couple really fast memory cards that were super expensive at the time, and a tripod. I probably spent like $4,000, probably on the low end, buying all this stuff. And keep in mind, I was working part-time as a bank teller, like 20 hours a week at maybe $15 per hour. The reason I decided to pull the trigger and upgrade and buy all this stuff is because I watched a video on wedding photography and how lucrative of a business that could be. Obviously, to me, it seemed like something that I would much rather do versus working at a bank. I also felt that from all my time watching Kai and Locke explain cameras and do tutorials, watching Digital Rev TV, that I probably had what it took. So I decided that the missing piece for me was to upgrade to more, a more professional kit, and that would be the only way that I could make any money out of photography. Guess what happened after that? The exact same thing happened that happened after I bought my first Canon Rebel camera. I went home and I continued watching a bunch of YouTube videos. I obsessed over new gear, even though I had just bought a bunch of new gear. And yeah, I took the occasional photo at a family dinner party. I even took some pictures at my aunt's wedding, which she really was happy with. But ultimately, I wasn't out there snapping pictures all the time like you would think from someone who just spent all this money on brand new camera gear. I had the gear, but I was in this constant feedback loop, watching videos and obsessing over new gear. Ultimately, all my gear ended up finding its way to a shelf somewhere in my parents' house and probably sat there for like 10 years before I picked them up again. Honestly, it was almost like at that time, I didn't understand that I didn't need an invitation from someone to just take some nice photos. I also think that I didn't understand that there was nothing to be shy about when it came to bringing my camera out with me to grab some pictures while I was on the go. I also didn't understand that good photographers weren't created as a byproduct of watching a million YouTube videos or about having trivial knowledge about every camera spec for every new piece of gear on the market. At that time, I was just so wrong about photography. I really did not have a clue 
about what made a great photographer. I also think that at that time, I didn't really understand what are probably some of the most important aspects of photography. Primarily that you should be enjoying it. That at its core, it's an expression of your perspective and your unique emotion. That a really great photo might not be one that's technically perfect, but still admired by many people all over the world based on how they feel when they look at that photo. Photography is an amazing hobby. And we live in a vast world with infinite number of photo ops, infinite places, infinite scenes, infinite actions, infinite perspectives that you can take a picture of. Moments in time that once you snap them can never be re-experienced, experienced again or reproduced. It's a moment in time and photography allows you to capture that moment in time. It's really a beautiful hobby, a hobby that I started off with, with the wrong impression about what it could mean for me. And it took me about 15 years to find my way back to photography and to figure this out for myself. And I can tell you that now I'm loving it more than I ever did before. How about you?